Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create custom pricing plan designs and link them to a checkout flow that will make them functional. If you're not aware of what I'm talking about on the Wix Fix website, I actually have our current design plans currently listed here. And this is exactly what I have. So this is not the pricing plan elements that come with the app. These are something that I designed myself. However, if I were to click on this button right here, like I wanna join the basic plan, then it takes us to the checkout flow for the basic plan. So that's what we're gonna be building in today's video. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I am inside of the editor and let's say here on the homepage, we want to add links to a pricing plan, right? So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually add the pricing plan. So we're going to come over to the app market. We're going to scroll down to Wix pricing plans and we're going to add this to our website. Great. And once it's finished, it's going to bring us to the pricing plans page. Now, what I want to do first is start by going to manage plans. And once it's open, what we're gonna do is press start now and we're gonna create three different plans. So right here, we're gonna press create. I'm gonna say, call this one basic plan. And then we'll add like a benefit for joining the plan. So I'll do it benefit number one, benefit number two, and maybe we'll do benefit number three. Great, we're gonna make sure we set this to reoccurring payment. Maybe this one will be $5 a month. For length of the plan, we're gonna say until cancels and then we can go ahead and press save. Now let's do that two more times for two additional plans. Perfect, so now that we have our plans created, what we can now do is close out. And we're gonna switch on over to the home page in the editor, and we're gonna scroll down to this section. Now here's where we're gonna maybe place our actual content here. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna add a flex box. We can either add a flex box or we can even just split the section into different sections. I do think a flex box would be a little bit better. So we're gonna go to layout tools, go to flex box, and we're gonna add one of these options here. Now what I want to do is stretch this to be to the section and in the design tab, what I want to do is head down to the bottom and with the section selected, we'll add maybe like 5% margin or padding, sorry. Then with the flex box selected, we'll add a little bit more space in between, maybe like 24 pixels. I think that looks pretty good. And now we can kind of design these to be however we want. For me, what I want to do is I just kind of want to add the plan name, the price, and maybe the benefits. So what I'm going to do is actually add a container. So we'll go to add, quick add, drag this out here. Perfect. We're going to stretch this and we're going to remove the background color. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom to the margin area and we're gonna add maybe like 10% margin. Let's see what that looks like. I think that looks good. So we'll apply that to all sides. Then inside this container, what we're gonna do is just simply add a title, send it to the top left and we'll make the width 100%, okay? Let's copy and paste this title, we'll bring it down. And then last but not least, we'll add a paragraph. So this is gonna be the benefits. Okay, I'm gonna grab all three of these items and stack them together. For this top one though, I am going to lower it to a heading four. And this one is going to be the plan title. This one is going to be the cost. And then we'll have a list of our benefits below. Great. Now what I want to do is grab the section height and we'll set this to zero. Then I'm going to grab the container holding the stack. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it inside of this box here. We'll stretch it and then we'll add that 10% margin to all sides. And we'll do that over here for this right flex box as well. And then we'll just go ahead and change the plan names and the prices and benefits to make sure it matches with the pricing plan info. Fantastic. The last thing that we're gonna need, need here is a button. So what we're gonna do is place a button inside of this flex box. We're going to change the text and we're just going to delete it all. Then we're gonna come over to the sizing for the button and turn on advanced sizing. And we're gonna change the width to be 100%. And we'll do that for the height as well. And then we'll just make sure it is centered. Great. The last thing we need to do for this button is actually remove the background color. And we need to, so we're gonna come over to background color and set that to zero. Then we're also gonna need to make sure we come over to the hover state and do that here as well. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab the item and I'm going to add a little bit of a hover interaction to it. So I'm gonna come over to interactions. I'm gonna create a custom one and I'll raise it up by like 
three pixels. So I'm gonna set negative three here. And we can even change the background color if we wanted to, to something a little bit darker, but I'm not really interested in doing that for now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I do that for all three of these items as well. Great. And I actually forgot to do this before we started the hover effects, but I want to grab this button here and I wanna make sure we paste it inside of each of these items. Now, the reason we're not using a repeater for this is because the code that we're gonna add would not work with a repeater specifically. So we're using a flex box instead. But now that we have this set up, now it is actually time to start coding. So what we're gonna do is head on over to the coding panel and we're gonna press start coding. Now inside of this coding panel, what I want to do is just erase everything. And we first need to import the pricing plan API. So I'm gonna say import and in curly brackets, we're going to call the custom purchase flow from and we're gonna say Wix dash pricing plans front end. Okay, now you'll notice it is currently grayed out and that's because we're not running any code or functions to even reference this. So until we reference this API, it's gonna remain grayed out. But now what I want to do is I wanna grab button one right here and I'm gonna name this one basic BTN, just like that. And then I'm gonna scroll down to these event handlers. So I'm gonna say on click, and I'm gonna add this event to the page and it's gonna add a little bit of code for us. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit and I'm just going to delete all the comments. So now that we have this function, we need to tell it what to do. And what we want it to do is start a checkout flow for the basic pricing plan. So the first thing we're gonna do is say custom purchase flow dot navigate to checkout. And we're gonna add parentheses and then we're gonna add curly brackets and we're gonna go down to the next line. Inside this, we're gonna say plan ID, and we're gonna equal this to, and we're gonna use the, uh, I forget what this is called, it's like a tilde or something, but it's a, it's typically the button above your tab on your keyboard. So we're gonna do this one right here. And what we need to put in here is the plan ID for basic. So how do we get that? Well, what we're gonna do is come over to databases. We're gonna do paid plans, and we're going to open this database here. So we're gonna open the collection. And all of the plans that we create are gonna be inside of this database. So right here, we can see the basic plan. If we scroll to the right, we'll see roll ID. So what we're gonna do is just copy this and we're gonna close out. And we're just in between these tilde keys, we're gonna go ahead and press this. So now if we go ahead and preview the website and I hover over this and click it, it's now gonna take us to the checkout page for the basic plan. But now we need to go ahead and do this for the other two pricing plans as well. Now we can't just copy and paste this because event handlers can sometimes be a little bit weird. So I'm just gonna go down a couple lines. I'm gonna grab this button. I'm gonna call this one Pro BTN and I'm gonna add a, an event handler for this one. Again, I'm going to erase all of the comments and inside of this, I am going to copy the internal code from the function and I'm just gonna paste it here. Now we do need to change the plan ID because we don't want the Pro button linking to the basic plan checkout. So once again, we're going to open up the plan database. We're gonna to go to the pro and get this ID for this plan. And we're just going to replace this with the correct plan ID. Now let's do this one more time for VIP. Again, add the event handler and erase the comments. Then we're gonna copy this custom checkout flow or purchase flow. Then we're gonna open up the collection again and grab the VIP role ID and just replace it here, perfect. So now if we just go ahead and check the website really quickly, we've already checked basic, but we can click on pro to see if it checks out for pro, perfect. And then if we check VIP, we'll make sure that it checks out for VIP, awesome. So that's gonna be how you create a custom pricing plan design and add a little bit of Velo code to make it functional and start the checkout flow for those pricing plans. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.